Hi, this is John with Soft Cell Electrical School and today we are going to replace a 50 amp GFI protected disconnect. I just finished replacing the heater. Now I'm going to replace the disconnect. This really is for professionals or for just plain basic information if you're curious on how you replace a GFI disconnect for a spa. This is the old disconnect. This is the new panel here and I've already prepped it. I've knocked out the knockout and I've put in the weatherproof cover because this is also for a top feed and I always remove both the watertight cover plate and the dead front before I begin work because it's just so much easier to work on. This is a lot more user friendly. All you have to do is you come in, hook up your hots, hook up your load, and then hook up your neutral because this is a three wire GFI and a three wire spa, which uh, is slightly different. And plus this allows you two extra spaces for other breakers. There, we got that out. And remember to pull that out before you start doing anything else. We're now going to attach it. Holes are drilled and we're ready to anchor this. I use super blues. I don't use any inserts because in Las Vegas, after one summer, the plastic insert rots out. And they have a nice tight fit to them. And that is secure. So the first thing I do is I hook up my pots and then I worry about where the neutrals go. The wiring is complete and the main difference between a three wire GFI protected spa and a four wire is that on a three wire the neutral which is useless here but the neutral connected to the spa would go on to this neutral lug on the GFI breaker and then the ground would just go to your ground bar here this is a three wire setup and basically everything goes to ground and the neutral lug is not used. We're going to power this up. And let's see if it is GFI protected. That says it is. Now, let's run a quick test on this. Line says 244, 42 volts alternating. That's about right. And load should just be a few volts less. 242, 243. Before I swap this out, it gives me a real time reading of 200 and uh, varies 242 to 244, which again the original reading was 88 and 96.
And that, as they say, is a wrap. So, this is John wrapping up a tutorial on how to swap out a GFI disconnect. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.